What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. My name is Ryan Roots and in today's video I want to talk to you about my top nine favorite categories to sell in on eBay. Just a couple things before I jump into today's video. We started this YouTube channel to give back to the reselling community. When we first started selling on eBay, I didn't even know that YouTuber resellers existed. So we didn't really know what to learn. We didn't have anybody to rely on. We kind of just like made mistakes and learned as we went. But part of the reason why we put out videos today is to help people who were in that same position that we were in. People that didn't really know what they were doing and could use some advice to help them get to the next level. So hopefully you're able to learn a little something from today's video. And if you do like this content, one way that you can show us a little bit of support is to just hit the thumbs up button on the video and then subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. All right, and with that being said, let's jump into my top nine favorite categories to sell in on eBay. In no particular order, we'll start with the first one, which is ink, toner, and cartridges. Printer ink is a category that a lot of people learn about as they start selling on eBay. It's a category that I like to sell in because the stuff sells so fast. We even call it like black gold when we find it. We find this stuff at thrift stores, at garage sales. We've even found it on Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes like businesses will get a bunch of printer toner or a bunch of printer ink and the business goes under or they just have excess amount that they're not using. And sometimes they'll list it for sale on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and we'll jump on that and go pick it up and it sells very quickly on eBay. We've also found like the big toners and cartridges at garage sales. The funny thing about printer ink and printer toner is that even if it's expired, so even if the ink is expired on the box, you can still sell it on eBay. Unlike other categories, like obviously food and medicine, you wouldn't be able to do that with on eBay, but printer ink, even if there's an expiration date that's passed, you can still list it and sell it on eBay. We've sold plenty of expired printer ink on eBay. One risk that you take, obviously, is that the ink could be dried up, but when we list printer ink, we make sure that it's still sealed because most of them come in like a protective sealed wrap we make sure that inside the box, that wrap hasn't been cut, it's still sealed. And then one other bit of advice, if you do end up getting into this category, is stick to legit brands. Don't sell like the off-brand generic cartridges. Sell stuff that's like the actual brand, HP, Epson. Those are the ones that actually command the higher dollar amount. Those replacement cartridges that you know work the same as the originals, they really don't sell for enough money. So stick to the ones that have a brand backing them. So number one is printer ink and toner. Category number two that I like to sell in is replenishable items. So this category is kind of like open to interpretation because I mean, really anything could be a replenishable product. For us, we kind of stick to like appliances and like some electronics and stuff. But what I mean by replenishable products is one item that you can continue to purchase over and over again, and you can keep the listing active on eBay. And then when you get more product, you just restock the item, you keep your watchers, and those watchers get a notification saying that the item has been restocked, and you can just continue to sell that same item over and over again. There's appliances that we've sold that we've had listed on eBay for two years and we've sold hundreds of them. One quick trick to this is if you are selling replenishable products, if you get a lead on something that you can purchase over and over again, there's an option on eBay called the out of stock option. If you switch that on, which is how we run our eBay stores, if you switch that on, what happens is, let's say I list an item with a quantity of 50 and all of them sell. Typically on eBay, once all of those items sell, it goes to zero and the item ends. So if you get more of it, you have to relist the item again, get your watchers back, get traction on eBay again, and then sales start to trickle in again. When you have that out of stock option on, even if the stock goes to zero, the item still stays active stays active on eBay, just shows a quantity of zero. What that does is it keeps your watchers active. It keeps the listing active and it keeps your watchers active. So again, when you do restock the item, those watchers get a notification and they can repurchase your item again. Obviously the out of stock option doesn't really matter if you're selling only one-off items. It's really more for those replenishable items. But again, that's a category that we love to sell in. We look for those items that we can purchase over and over again. And it's a it's a nice thing to have, you know, maybe 20% of your inventory is replenishables and then the other 80% are those one-off items and you have both different options working hand in hand. It makes for a good eBay store. So again, number two is open to interpretation. It could be any item, but for us, we like to sell replenishables. Category number three that we love to sell in on eBay is shoes and boots. Obviously, you guys know we sell a ton of used and new shoes and boots on eBay. It's a category that we love because they're easy to take pictures of. They're pretty available in most thrift stores, garage sales, wholesale. You can find a lot of shoes and boots out there because 
everybody wears shoes and boots. So there's a lot of inventory out there and it's a category that sells. Even if you don't really like dealing with used shoes, I still suggest that, you know, look out for the brands that have higher value and still if you see a good item out there don't let you know don't let cleaning a pair of shoes get in the way of making a decent amount of money a piece of advice when it comes to selling shoes is look for brands that are known and look for specialty items too so sometimes shoes will sell for more money if you can find ones that are like specific for certain categories like cycling shoes or hiking shoes or like minimalistic running shoes sell very well on eBay. So if you can find like little niches within a category, sometimes you can get a higher dollar amount for those items. Category number four that I love to sell in is electronics. All sorts of items doesn't really matter from camera equipment to microphones to old iPods and iPads and Apple equipment to other laptops and keyboards and mice, even stuff like headphones and old cell phones. Almost everything has some sort of a value in the electronic category. The other cool thing about that category is that most items have a model number or like a model name that you can very easily look up on eBay, look at sold comps and see exactly what those items are selling for. So it's a good category to get into when you first start selling on eBay because it's very easy to research the items and it's very easy to know how much to list them for as well. And one piece of advice for selling in that category is really only buy stuff that you can test. So plug it in, make sure everything's working, check the battery compartment to make sure there's no corrosion. If there is, it's fairly easy to clean it out, but make sure the buttons are working, make sure you know the sound coming out sounds okay. Test your items before you sell them. It only takes a few minutes to make sure that the customer is getting a good working item. Okay, so category number five, this is one that's obviously you guys know near and dear to my heart, vintage t-shirts. Love selling vintage t-shirts. We've gotten into them more and more and more and more as we got into 2020. But I love the category. Um, I look out for stuff that's, you know, cool to me. I like 80s and 90s t-shirts. I love bright graphics. I love movie t-shirts. I love stuff that, you know, reminds me of my childhood. Stuff that I would personally collect as well. I have a couple videos on YouTube on how to identify vintage t-shirts, what certain labels to look for, the stitching to look for, the date stamps to look for. I'll link those somewhere up here so you guys can see if you are interested in selling vintage t-shirts there's some key things that you want to look out for when you're searching for them but it is a good category again if you're out of thrift stores if you're out of garage sales estate sales can be good for this a lot of the time you can find stuff for one or two dollars and flip it for 40 50 bucks and sometimes you'll get a big score and you'll get a t-shirt worth a few hundred dollars but other than just making money from the vintage t-shirts i like them because it's part of my childhood and i'm able to collect a little portion back of my childhood. And speaking of childhood, category number six kind of works into that same thing. Category number six is toys. I love selling toys. Again, I look out for those 80s, 90s vintage toys, the toys that I played with, the toys that people collect. But honestly, all toys sell. Even like we got in um, some of those American Girl dolls the other day and those sold pretty much immediately. So again, the same tip as on some of these other categories is with toys, you want to buy toys that have a good brand behind them, like American Girl, for example. Another great one is Lego. Lego is awesome. If you can get the sets new in the box, it's literally like buying gold. Like you can buy Lego sets, hold on to them, the value of them increases, and then you can sell them on eBay or Amazon if you're ungated, which you're probably not, but you can still sell them on eBay and you can make decent money from them. Again, it's one of those things where, you know, our generation is finally able to afford certain things. And for me in particular, right? So like I grew up not really being able to afford stuff like that family wasn't very wealthy and now I finally have a little bit of money and I can go and basically like rebuy my childhood the things that I wasn't able to afford I now have the capital to go and purchase and I like to collect stuff from my childhood and there's a lot of me's out there looking for you know certain things that remind them of their childhood for me again street sharks I love street sharks they were kind of expensive when I was a kid and now I'm able to collect them they're still kind of expensive now but I'm able to collect them and enjoy something that you know I really wouldn't be able to find them if it wasn't for people selling them on eBay so yeah toys is a cool category to get into again good money in it and it's a fun one category number seven that I want to talk about is hats Hats is a great category to get into because they're easy to take pictures of. They're super easy to ship. All you really have to do is pack them up and put them. I suggest you put them in a box so that they don't get messed up, but you can still find a lightweight box, put the hat in the box, wrap it up, make it look nice. And most of the time you can still ship them out for under a pound so they can still go first class shipping. But again, hats, super easy to take pictures of thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. Again, these are items at flea markets. These are items that uh, are, are pretty prevalent at 
a lot of these different places. So it's a category that you can get into because there's just a lot of product out there. One thing that you can do that I did in the past when I was trying to learn about and like research the most expensive hats out there. And you can actually do this in any category, but I did it with hats in particular. If you go to eBay and just type in like snapback hat and go to the sold items, so go to sold comps on eBay and sort by most expensive first, you can see like what are the hats that are selling for the most amount of money. And I know for sure that you're gonna see like old antique John Deere hats on there. Those are ones that I know people collect, but there's a lot of collectible hats. And that's the cool thing about hats is a lot of people wear hats and most of them have like some sort of an attachment to certain things. So like sports, Caps, obviously, people look out for. There's a lot of different like styles of hats, strap backs and snap backs and mesh backs and trucker hats, but it's a cool category to get into because again, you can find them out there and it's not hard to take pictures off and sell. Category number eight might be my favorite category. It's video games and video game systems. Personally, I grew up playing like Super Nintendo and N64, so that's what I like to collect. I look out for those games and I still play my N64 all the time. But I love the video game category because people get so attached to certain things and the stuff sells so fast. Now there's definitely a lot more competition when it comes to video games. Again, I know sellers, that that's all they do exclusively. They only sell video games and they're constantly on on Facebook Marketplace, constantly on Craigslist, looking for these lots, people selling these lots. So the competition out there is a bit harder when it comes to video games, but it is, again, it's a fun category to get into, um, even if it's not the main thing that you sell. If you see it at a garage sale, you can still get into it and start experimenting with selling video games. Either way, it's not just the games that sell, the accessories and the systems and everything really to do with video games seems to sell nicely on eBay. And then category number nine, the last category that I'll share with you is school supplies. So specialty school supplies, stuff like TI calculators, those sell really well on eBay, stuff like certain textbooks, specialty school equipment, the higher value equipment that kids buy all the time going into the school year, everybody has to buy books, everybody has to buy certain equipment to better their schooling careers. And because it's a category that's a necessity, not a want, it's something that is actually required for them to do what they need to do, it's a good category to get into because the, again, the stuff sells. So it's not something that if you get in at the right time, it's not something that you're gonna buy and then sit on for a year. It's something that you can purchase and sell quickly to the right person for the right amount of money and get your investment back fast. And really that's it guys and girls, that's nine of my top favorite categories to sell in on eBay. I know it seems like a very simple video, but um, I hope that you know maybe this sparked a little bit of interest. Maybe you'll get some more ideas and you've learned a couple of new categories and some different things to look out for. I'll say it again, if you're new to eBay, these are good categories to start in because Look at us, like we've been doing this for years and years and years and years. We've sold millions of dollars online and these are still categories that we sell in on a daily basis. So obviously they're categories that do work and they're categories where you can flip stuff and make a good amount of money doing it. But those are my top favorite. Again, leave a comment and let us know what's your favorite and why is it your favorite. Thank you so much for watching guys and girls. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out, guys. Bye.